So, these signs here, what do, what do they mean to you? First thing I thought of when I saw the sign was, why love one but eat the other, choose vegan. And I've got a really rotten sense of humour. I said, or oh, you could eat both. You could eat both? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you wouldn't think there was anything wrong with killing and eating a dog? I, in certain cultures they do it. Yeah. Uh, you, I don't personal. like it. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. But in certain cultures, they do lots of things they do, I don't like, yeah. so you, you can't do it. Is there any difference to their culture and our culture? There's a little big difference, of course. Like History what, what, for a start. Oh, like in the way they treat their animals for yeah, food? Yeah, very, very much so. What are the differences? I'm very, the differences are that there's very little supervision or protocol or even cultural history. Okay. In some parts of the world, I won't name them, but okay. everybody knows who they are. Yep. where the animal life is treated as just basically a commodity you give it, you okay. take it. But in a lot of parts of the world where human life is treated okay. the same way. Now, in Australia, we also have ethical issues about our intensive farming industries yeah. and particularly our live animal exports, yeah. which are not being addressed. So even in Australia, we're, you know... We're, we know better? Uh, we're better, but we're not definitely not guilt-free, that's for sure. Yeah, we've got factory farms here in Australia, massive piggeries and yes. animals are treated like commodities because that's what they are, they're a product at the end of the day. Um, a bolt gun in a pig's head, would you say is the same as a bolt cut in, a gun in the dog's head? It's regrettable that both are killed. Uh, the thing is that if, if the pig is lucky enough to get a bolt gun in his head, it's probably doing pretty well. In this, uh, in this world? In this world, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of worse ways to go. What if we said, like, why love one but eat the other? What if we gave... Look, the alternative a, of loving both. It's a, no, no, no. It's a good line. I can understand the line. Yeah. Um, and you know, when I was younger, I worked in advertising. I, I know what oh, yeah. a headline is. I know yeah. what an image is. I know what a communication is. I know what a logo is. All this yeah. sort of stuff. <clears throat> and you do it. Uh, the thing is that often, if you want change, very often asking for a large step is very difficult for most people to get yeah. their head around. Whereas if you work continually, continually, continually for small steps, small steps, small yeah. steps, you're more likely to get uh, a good result. And like, because there's obviously a victim on, on the other side of this choice. Well, it's we, only the victim that you're, you're identifying. We're identifying the pig as the victim? Yes. Yeah. You don't think the pig is a victim? Well, the dog can be a victim as well. Oh, yeah, well, in some world. cultures, yeah. yeah. But um, in, in our society, in this in Western society, culture, it applies to us. Yeah, definitely pigs that are in intensive farming situations yeah. are probably treated, no, along with chickens, but they're probably treated worse than probably any other intensively farmed animal. Yeah. So you, you personally would uh, disagree with our treatment of animals for food? I, I agree. Where, wherever possible, I buy um, free range. Okay. And if there was another uh, brand or branding level that came through was that was ethically farmed, okay. humanely farmed, okay. humanely slaughtered, free range, I would definitely buy that product. So the free range animals go to the same slaughterhouse as the factory farmed not, animals? Not always. No, no definitely not always. not always. No, definitely not in piggeries. What, what's, what slaughterhouse? Some of the country piggeries have their own small slaughterhouses where they're done much better and they're not, they're not just herded into a truck and cut it off. Can you define better? For better, it would be as much as possible that the animal is not traumatised. It has a good life uh, within that lifespan. It's not uh, slaughtered too early. I don't particularly like lambs. Little piglets. Lambs are slaughtered at six months, and three, pig, yeah. pigs are slaughtered at around six months as yeah, well. That'd be right. But I, you know, for example, I won't eat veal, purely and simply for the ethical reason that I won't touch the stuff. Okay. I won't. Wherever because possible. it's young. Very often, the veal that slaughters only a couple of days old. Okay. And chickens are slaughtered at. Chickens also, I buy. Six weeks old. Okay, I buy free-range chickens. I happen to like chicken. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now the thing is that if I wanted to wrestle with the idea. Uh, I really respect our vegetarians a lot. Okay. Okay. Vegans are evangelical, basically, okay. and they can be a pain in the ass. Okay. And what, for what reasons? They're evangelical. Meaning they feel like they're they try and convert superior. You the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. They're trying yeah. to convert you, convert, 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 convert. You well, can't, that, well, you can't just, go out to a, a yeah. restaurant with a vegan, and yeah. I'll, I'll guarantee you, 50% of the time, that vegan will be having a bash at the the owner or the manager about why they don't have vegan options on, on the menu. Yeah. And the manager will say, well, hang on a minute, if I tangled up my kitchen yeah. with half the kitchen being vegan and half yeah. the kitchen being normal, it's just too hard. It's like half the kitchen being kosher. Do you think it's annoying that people stand up for the rights of animals? It's not annoying, but, but 
they can definitely express opinions, but to be, I'm saying evangelical, they're not just standing up for the rights, they're trying to convert you. Whereas vegetarians don't do that. Because also vegetarians the, are diet and veganism's about veganism animals. Is a much bigger concept. It's, it's, a, it's a philosophy leather, against... Butter, eggs, the yeah. whole lot. Anything that exploits or hurts animals, yeah. vegans will say, oh, yeah. we don't agree with that. Now, <clears throat> okay, I think the vegan philosophy is a good one. And in an ideal world, it's a good one. At the moment, we're not in an ideal world. No. And there's no way none you're going to go, we're all vegan tomorrow. Unless, <clears throat> look, all the, the evidence is there mm -hmm. that mankind is going to have to change its eating. It's, it's just, it's black and white. It's yeah. bad for the environment. <clears throat> bad for our health. Bad for overpopulation. That's the jury's out on that. Um, so, saturated give, fat and cholesterol. Yeah, if you want to give, give as much evidence about how this stuff is bad for you, there's as much counter evidence that says how much this stuff is good for you. So don't even get into that argument. It's very the confusing. The, the science behind um, eating very, bacon very, uh, well, and eggs and cholesterol and what, saturated fat. Okay, there's nothing wrong with eggs. Bacon in moderation is nothing wrong. It's full of saturated about, fat? Or no, it's not. And cholesterol? Or you, cut, you cut the fat off. You buy a lean piece of bacon, it's got less fat in it than a, than a steak or butter or okay. coconut oil, which vegans love. Got, yeah. Coconut oil, full of saturated fat. Coconut oil is full of saturated yeah, fat, yeah. It's, it's a refined I mean, product, yeah. Shoveling it down, telling everybody what a great product it is. When but it comes to diet, there is a lot of misinformation there is. around. There is. Now, if, you want, if you want to... But when it comes to ethics, we can't really argue that no, it's wrong to can't. stab an animal for you no can't. reason. And I'm a big believer in, in ethical animal husbandry, okay? So, and so, if the vegan might, issue aside, yeah. if somebody comes out and says, yeah. this is a moral issue, yeah. And I really do, I've, I've, I'm, this is not my quote originally, but I really do think that in future generations they're going to look back on our part of history and how yeah. we treated our animals yeah. with great shame. I, I do think that's going to happen. Yeah. So you know, if, if, if you can go into a shop or a supermarket and yeah. bloody blah, and you can buy an ethically farmed cut of lamb or even a salmon, because even salmon is intensively farmed, if you can buy it knowing it's had a good life, it's been well treated, it's been free range, it's been fed proper food that suits it, it hasn't been put in a stall, deprived of life and freedom, ethically and as painlessly as possible slaughtered, but you're going to pay five times more for that product, I would say good. It's With good to, to painlessly kill an animal? Yes. How yeah, is that good farmers. for the animals? It's not good for the animal. We That's are what we're saying. We are and we're omnivores, yeah. okay? We eat vegetables and we eat meat. And you veg vegans will, will disagree with that and say, no, 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 we're herbivores. Well, we don't need to eat meat for, for well, to be healthy and thrive. Okay, uh, we've got vegan athletes okay. here, bodybuilders. Um, can, I know that, but we can choose... So we're doing it for no reason, just because we like the way they no, taste. No, but were you doing it... Well, it's we're doing it to food. animals for no reason. It's also we... a, a cultural thing where you're brought up with a certain yeah. food and you're in a culture. Certain yeah. foods don't eat pork, True. certain foods don't eat cow. Culture is no certain justification foods... for injustice, though. Yeah, okay. Now, already in your interview, yeah. you're taking an evangelical approach to... Well, from the, the animal's interview. perspective. No, no, but already, but what I was complaining yeah. about before, about vegans and my observation, yeah. is that they will not conduct a reasonable discussion yeah. without getting hot and without evangelicalizing and trying to convert well, the people who they're well, doing. And you're, you're doing it now. Just from the animal's perspective though, it's an injustice to enslave them and kill them even if we do that I in a kind the, way. The poster. You wouldn't think so? You no. don't think a bolt gun in the head if we've in a happy a whole, animal? We've, we've got a whole history of doing that. Yeah. Humans, the whole history, 3,000 years yeah. of farming and even going back to Neanderthal, look at a paleo... 400, 400 years of okay. slavery. Okay, and you want to look at idealized cultures like oh the american indians and oh the australian aboriginal and what are they doing they're out there they're hunting stuff they're yeah. eating it yeah in survival now, situations okay. it's a bit no, different no, no. to no no not survival a lot of these um uh, american tribes are very prosperous yeah they just have there's a lot of eating there's a lot of things that happen in tribes yeah, that aren't that aren't ethical you would agree I think that... Like they rape each other, there's murder in tribes, there's, you know, oh, people killing each other, there's well, wars, there's, as well. there's traditional cultures lot, that go of, to war with each other and kill other of, humans. Yes, and yes. And that's that that's happens a, in a culture. Thing. Culture's and a, a big catalyst for these okay, injustices. So you, okay, well now you want to bang on about anti-war and everything like this. No, we're just saying... We're all, humans. All, all, humans. All I'm saying that. is like, just because we've always done it and just because it's part of our culture, just because it's traditional and we like, it's a, a habit, it still doesn't justify a bolt gun in an animal's head if, if they want it from it. the animal's perspective if you want to eat it yeah
It's better than uh, a rusty knife in a car park in Saudi Arabia. There are, there's obviously better ways to kill people too, but it just doesn't make it justified. Oh, a few people think, yeah. You know, there's better ways to take someone's life if they didn't know about it behind them. And, yeah, uh, you know. and it's called, what is it, rules of war and war crimes. War crimes. Yeah, no, no, humans, we've got a yeah. lovely big list about what you can and can't do in war, which everybody ignores anyway. We'd probably say, okay, like, you, you would agree, agree that war, no matter how kindly it's done, like shooting people and killing people and dropping bombs on people, is just never, not... Wars never, never justified, yeah. Sometimes it's justified. To defend yourself in a defensive Absolutely. way, yeah. But pigs and cows and chickens haven't done anything wrong to no, us for us to do this to them. them. Okay, now you're getting an evangelical, and I'm yeah. getting a little bit over this interview now, so yeah. I'm going to walk on and have okay. Sunday, and mainly because your tone has changed. And you've oh, no, no, this is my person. normal tone. There. See you later. Here's a card. Take a card. <laughs> oh, well, we tried, didn't we? We tried. <laughs>